talking about the future of Buffalo Central Terminal, and once again, its future is uncertain. The man who was granted preferred developer status for this Art Deco icon says that his plans are still on track despite what he calls a minor setback. Our Dave McKinley is live outside the Central Terminal now to explain. Dave? You know, it looked like, pretty much like, uh, Canadian developer Harry Stinson's $250 million dream to turn this place into a massive entertainment, housing, and retail complex had been derailed, unless, of course, you talk to Harry Stinson. We're not going away and we're going to carry on with it. Which might seem a strange sentiment after the Central Terminal Restoration Corporation announced less than two weeks ago it was severing ties with Stinson and moving in a different direction. To be honest, we were blindsided by this event, by this announcement. But he insists things are back on track here, despite the decision by the Central Terminal Board to now engage the Urban Land Institute in yet another comprehensive study. Even in the last few hours, the communications have continued. In fact, they've, uh, they've uh, uh, offered a seat at the table during this ULI study process that will be coming up. We embrace that process and uh, we think it's an interesting and, and exciting opportunity to, to sort of learn more and, to, and to, to refine our working relationship going forward. But we asked them if that's the case, why was the Central Terminal Restoration Corporation nowhere to be found at this news conference? That's a good question. Which we followed up on by asking if he might have a good answer. I don't. I think you'd have to ask them. We tried, but a spokesman for the Central Terminal Group has not responded to phone calls or emails. But Stinson and company think they have an idea. The critical step for this building now is a transition of control. And they think there were members of the group which has controlled this place for the last 18 years who were nervous when it came time to hand over the keys. So now I think that they're at that, you know, the 11th hour of making that decision. And I think they want to be able to have input from outside um, um, experts beyond their, the, the board's uh, uh, capacity. So I can understand why they might sit and say, well, okay, time out here. Let's, let's find a bunch of suits to endorse what we're doing, you know? The suits being the Empire State Development Corporation and the City of Buffalo, which will pay the cost of the new study, which he feels confident will conclude that they are best to board his train. Stinson also confirmed new plans for a film production studio, which he says could take up half the space here, and claims rich products and a subsidiary are also interested in being part of this development. But the mayor of Buffalo believes that Stinson may not be on board with reality and that truly, he has been left at the station. You'll hear more from him tonight at 6. Reporting live from Central Terminal, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.